Okay, so in this first demo, we're going to take two of the virtual machines that we have here in this resource group. So this is a Linux uh, VM on which I already enabled the diagnostic settings. So you see here that we have all the metrics uh, enabled and we are going to pull every 15 seconds the data and we surface it to uh, Azure. Here's the list of the metrics that uh, you get. You see that there's the default list and you can customize that and add your own um, changes. Uh, the diagnostic settings are not enabled by default. So if you take at this uh, this VM, which I just uh, deployed, then you will see that I need to go inside the monitoring and then diagnostic setting first and then enable guest monitoring. I need to wait a little bit. And here it's a Windows machine. You see I'm going to sample it every 60 seconds. I can add same thing, other con performance uh, monitor counter like uh, you would do on a Windows server. You add that and you can modify the list of the default counter that are here uh, for you exactly as in the previous experience. So once you have uh, enabled that, we can just discard the changes and we can have a view on those metrics. So those metrics, you go back here and you see that you have to view the namespace of the virtual machine and the namespace of the host perspective. Here I am inside the guest operating system. I'm adding network uh, in and network out from the guest operating system. So again, here, this is the metrics as we are see from inside the performance counters of the virtual machine. The advantage of that is I can basically customize this graph and I can create my own uh, dashboard. So I can select another dashboard and here create a new dashboard, which I will put here with this name Arno. I will apply and this will be a shared dashboard. So when I click on it, I then have the possibility to go and see the dashboard, customize it uh, a little bit. As you do here, having a bigger view on the environment. When I'm done with customizing, I just click done. And then I can publish the changes to uh, the other user that potentially I'm sharing this dashboard with. So here you can see I can download the template if I want to uh, get the script and re-import that into another subscription. Here, same thing, I can modify who has access to their dashboard. If I go to share dashboard and I add it to my favorite, then I can specify who has access to this environment. And this is very important when you're having a team that are basically monitoring or operating a subscription, you want to share the dashboard with the guy. So here you see where the dashboard is uh, stored and located. And you see here the IAM uh, configuration and you have the role assignment. So I can add users here and I can share this uh, dashboard with other people inside my uh, Azure AD environment or even uh, outside if that's uh, what my policy allow and that's what I want to do. So that's pretty much the first overview of getting started with network monitoring in, uh, in Azure.